provides the liver with oxygen. The hepatic vein is responsible for carrying blood away from the liver. The liver consists of two lobes which contain numerous hepatic lobules with a distinctive structure. The hepatic artery, the hepatic portal vein, and the interlobular bile ductules form a portal triad embedded in the connective tissue surrounding the hepatic lobules. Blood enters the central vein from the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery, which run between the cells of the hepatic lobules. Bile canaliculi, located between the hepatic cells, collect bile produced by the cells and carry it to the interlobular bile ductules. One of the functions of the liver is to neutralize toxic substances that are absorbed in the intestines. The liver converts these into harmless substances. It also plays an important role in the metabolism of macromolecules, including lipids and proteins. The liver builds these macromolecules from their constituents according to the needs of the body. The liver is also essential in maintaining the body's glucose level as it is capable of storing energy in the form of glycogen. When the blood glucose level drops, the liver breaks glycogen down into glucose. Bile is carried to the gallbladder via the bile ducts. While stored in the gallbladder, bile becomes concentrated and is then released into the duodenum, where it disperses fat drops in food as it is being digested. As a result, the surface area of the fat drops increases, making it easier for enzymes to break them down 